Hey everyone, this is James from All Outdoors, and today we'll have a look at the 22 long rifle cartridge. I have a few different types of ammunition today, as well as two different rifles. And today I want to discuss the so called myth or truth. I don't know which one yet, but I brought the chronograph to prove it. Does the 22 long rifle actually lose velocity out of a longer barrel? Now, the general consensus is that with a longer barrel, you have more time for the powder to burn, and therefore you get greater velocity out of a longer barrel gun. That's definitely true with black powder rifles, but with smokeless, it's a little uh, less significant. But uh, I've been hearing a lot lately that if you shoot a 20 long rifle cartridge, uh, it actually has more drag on the bullet because all the powder is burned up, so therefore you get a actually lower velocity uh, out of a gun like this, a uh, Marlin Model 60. This is an older Model 60 with a 21 inch barrel. And, uh, it's about a longer barrel for a 22 rifle. But I have something a little more typical that they say is a little more optimal, that will get the optimal burn and the best possible velocity. This is a 16 inch barrel, Marlin Papoose. And uh, we have a CCI Blazer, 40 grain, round nose lead, high velocity. We have a Federal Target Load, which is a standard velocity load. We also have some CCI stingers. I'm going to put our chronograph out at 10 yards and we're going to see how these do and see what happens. All right, first we're going to start with the hottest load, the CCI stinger. This one has a rate of velocity of 1,640 feet per second. It's a low 32 grain uh, hyper velocity uh, load. I'm going to go ahead and use our Marlin Papoose first and we're just going to run through the Papoose and then I'm going to go with the Marlin. And uh, for the sake of this, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on the chronograph so that you guys can actually see the numbers in real time. So, start it. Alright, now we have the federal target load out of our Mon Papoose. It is a standard velocity load, 40 gram on those lead at 1,080 feet per second. Let's see how these run. Okay, now for the CCI Blazer. It's high velocity, 40 gram on those lead, going at around 1,200 feet per second. I did corner grab this out of the Papoos before, but we're gonna go ahead and do it again now. Okay, next is our Merlin Model 60 with a 21 inch barrel. We're going to start with our CCI Stinger. I haven't shot this one in a while, so it might fumble a little bit. Fourteen thirty six. Fourteen twenty six. Okay, now the federal target loads. The 
finally the CCI blazer. Let's go ahead and do our calculus to see what we get. All right, we're going to crush the numbers for the 16-inch barrel and the 21-inch barrel. Here are our averages. 1466 for the CCI Stinger, 1089 for the Federal Target Loads, CCI Blazer, 1179. And, of course, with our 21-inch barrel, 1438 for the CCI Stinger, 1096 for the Federal Target Loads, CCI Blazer, 1209. I see a more distinct velocity increase with a 16-inch barrel with the lighter grain CCI Stinger. Uh, that's indicating to me that the powder burnage is a little more efficient with the 16-inch barrel versus the 21-inch barrel. So there actually might be some uh, validity to the idea that a longer barrel is actually slowing down the bullet somehow. Uh, but as you can see with the other standard loads, the amount of different velocities, basically one round to the next, isn't enough difference to make a difference. I doubt that very much, especially when it comes to the standpoint of hunting or self-defense, target shooting, etc. Uh, but the 21-inch barrel version... Uh, the longer barrel 22s tend to hold very well. They're very steady shooting little guns, whereas the 16-inch barrel is definitely a lighter, more portable option for you. But uh, my curiosity is satisfied. Let me know what you think, and uh, I'll see you next time.